Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Bootstrap and Strength Series. So in the last video we created this uh, responsive navigation bar and in this video we are going to add a few things to it. So I want to show you how you can add some links to the right of your navigation bar and how to make it fixed. So you know when you scroll down to your web page sometimes navigation bars stick to the top and you get a nice animations coming down. So that's what we're going to be learning in this video. Let's get started. So we have this code here. So the first of all what I want to do here I want to just come down here and I want to just add one image here so the image is basically going to help us to to see that if we can fix our navigation bar on the top so for that we can just start a tag and then a href let's just add hash here we don't want to go anywhere so let's just come down and then in down here we are going to start with the image tag src and i'm going to type assets and slash and then we can just add my image there as well jpg and for the width and height so let's just type let's just say 100 percent and height is going to be 100 percent as well so it will just do the responsive thing now let's just go down close the a tag let's save the file and let's just look at it. I've got this image here. Now as you can see if I scroll down I get this uh, navigation bar hidden so I don't see those navigation bar there right. So what I can do here there is one class that you can add to your navigation main class like a main tag to make it fixed on the top. Let's just do that. So for that the class name is navbar dash fixed top and let's save the file and now if I just refresh the page and now if I scroll down as you can see that we're scrolling down the page but the navigation bar stays on the top so that is how you can make sure that your navigation bar fixed on the top so if you want to add an animation you can do that into your own style.css file I'm pretty sure that you guys understand CSS and HTML before watching this course so that is how you can do it fixed top that's what we're gonna do so now I'm gonna delete this image we don't need that and let's just save the file and now let's look at how we can add a drop down menu into our navigation bar so here we have a uh, four items four links into our navigation bar right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stay into this navigation div so here we can start with the unordered list again and then we can add items to our navigation drop down so for that first let's just add a list item and then i'm gonna name it the class drop down which is coming from a bootstrap again and then we can close this list item and then inside that list item we are going to add a, a tag so anchor tag at ref is equal to well we don't have anything to go from this page so we just type hash here because we don't want to go anywhere and then here we're going to type class which is again coming from bootstrap so drop down so drop down a backdrop or we have a drop down header drop down menu drop down left right so all of these are available here we're going to use the drop down toggle so after this drop down toggle we need to add a data so data dot toggle same thing we did with that on the top here so data toggle is equal to drop down and then role we can define there's few roles that you could do but we'll just say button and then area dot has pop-up so we can just say yes we have the pop-up animation done and then we can say area expanded expanded we can set it to false we don't want to expand that and then I'm gonna close this a tag and then we just name let's just say account okay so I'll show you what I'm doing here so let's just uh, close the a tag and now let's come down to the next line so the next line what we're gonna do here is uh, start with the unordered list 
and we're gonna choose the class class name is a drop down menu okay it's a default drop down menu we had the left and right as well but we'll look at that in a second but let's just do the default one so in that I'm going to close this URL and inside that we need to add a few more list items so whatever you want to add so let's just say this item and then I'm going to start with the a tag and then href we're not going anywhere so let's type hash and then here we can just type uh, login close this close your list item and then add option and shift copy this and then here we can just say register register right let's just save the file and let's look at our page let's refresh it and there you go we got this account drop down once i click on that i get this right but we can show this as an um, a menu a drop down menu so to do that what we can do here inside our anchor tag I'll just go to account after the account I'm going to add a span here so let's just say span and then we use the class here and then class is coming from bootstrap again so carrot is a class name and then we just close our span tag all right let's just save the file and pretty sure i did it right here so let's just save it let's go back and let's just see you see this arrow this is the carrot we have so now we can see that this is a drop down menu now one more thing i want to do here in our list a drop down item i want to put this to the right of my navigation bar to do that what i'm gonna do i'm going to actually create another div and i will put that drop down all right so in that div okay so we're going to use a class named navbar dash right so let's do that so after this list item and after this unordered list because this is the one we have on the left so what we can do here i'm going to create a div tag and then class is going to be nav nav bar dash nav and then nav bar dash right all right so inside that div tag now we can just uh, copy this list item so let's just control or command x let's just paste that let's save the file so we have this now we need to put that into the on order list so what we can do here i'm going to go here and then we start with the ul and then after that we will finish the ul again save the file and let's go back to our page i'm going to refresh this page and there you go so we got our list item there on the right inside our navigation bar but it doesn't really match up so for that what we can do i'm actually going to just remove this and let's see what happens let's just remove this on order list because we didn't use any class in order in on order list so let's just refresh the page and there we go so we got our list item on the right so if we collapse and then everything will be collapsed but what if we want we don't want to collapse this drop down menu so what we can do we can take this div and put it outside our this div class so this is the one which is collapsing on particular breakpoints so we can just put it outside so in this video we have seen how to put our navigation bar stuff to the right and how to create that uh, drop down menu in the navigation bar and how to stick it to the top Alright, so that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.